Hello and welcome to my third tutorial in this uh, creation kit series and today we're going to be going over clutter. Now clutter is one of the more important aspects I would say of um, creating a dungeon because it gives it life. Um, without clutter your dungeons or your house or whatever you're building would actually be quite boring. Th this is what um, sort of makes things playable you know it's sort of a uh, it, it either makes a game or it breaks a game um, so what we want to do is go through um, the dungeon we're creating and just add various bits and pieces it can you can have much as much clutter as you want or you can have as little clutter as, as long as you have some you know um, specifically with the with the walls and the door um, sorry the floors and the walls um, it's a very sort of uh, it's connected at a 90 degree angles now if you went into a, mu a cave or something it wouldn't be that way it wouldn't be a perfect box rectangular shaped room there'll be bumps and grooves and what have you so that's what we're going to do for today's tutorial is just go through clutter and adding little bits here and there and in the next tutorial uh, I'll be going over um, the use of lights, uh, lighting, FX, and um, perhaps water, but I might do water in the tutorial after that. So anyway, um, oh, and a quick note: the dungeon I created in the tutorial, in the second tutorial, is now on the Skyrim Nexus forum, and the link for it is actually in uh, the tutorial video for that dungeon. So if you look through the tutorial two I made, and in the description will be a link to uh, the download. And I've just made it so you can edit it only in um, the creation kit and I haven't added it into the game ie I haven't added a way to get in there as of yet anyway now let's get on with this tutorial shall we well, the first things you want to do is file data and obviously you as usual scrolling.esm now you also want to make sure your um, the dungeon you're making is, is is also selected so you make sure there's a cross there and you also want to set as active file so this is what we're changing the, the test dungeon this is what we're playing about with so it, it won't have any impact on the, on the main Skyrim game unless this is activated so go ahead and press OK <clears throat> let it load as usual warnings yes to all and then eventually it will load up now we're going to go straight into the cell view window and find our dungeon, AA test dungeon, right there. Right click view. And as you can see, we've, I added this. I'm not sure if uh, in the last video I saw this, uh, put this bit in, but um, I added a stairway and a little hallway to the first room. So, and what we're going to have when the player spawns in, they're going to be in this area. And obviously, this is going to be the first room. And that's going to be. I don't know, the boss room or whatever. So yeah. The clutter you can put in if you want to go real into detail you can do all the hallways, but the majority of clutter is in rooms. Um you can put bits and pieces in hallways just to give it a unique sort of feel to it, but the majority of it is usually in the rooms itself. Now there's several different places for clutter. If you, we're back in the st uh, world object statics view, if you want a pure Nordic theme, there is clutter there. But that's, I mean, there's a few sculpture heads, that's, which um, do add a bit of um, life to a room. And but there's sort of puzzle keys and other very, idea is go through and see what you like, and if you like it, put it in. That's pretty much it. And there's also another clutter list here. I'm not too sure what that. Oh, yeah, here's a clutter list, and also you can um, under static go to clutter. Then there's different subsections here you can go through and add to your game. Unless you know, um, well, if if you want a purely Nordic theme, you go in the filter window, just type N O R for Nor, and it will come up with some Nordic themes for you. Also, because of um, what you want to do obviously as you can see it's very 
a 90 degree angle sort of connection there and it, it, it doesn't feel like a dungeon it may look like a dungeon but it doesn't feel like a dungeon so what we're going to do just come out of clutter for a, a moment if you go into small rooms again S SM room and there should be do 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 uh, floor nor RM SM floor raised that's what we want I want the no ice version that's the one we want well, this does it's the same sort of look and texture of the current floor that's in there but it adds a bit of height which in turn adds a bit of depth now if, if you can uh, move this up and down all, all you need to do is unclick uh, snap to grid and snap to angle click on the object you wish to modify if you press Z then left click on the mouse and up or down to raise or lower what this does is just adds a little bit of different dimensions to this room. I mean, already it's given it a tiny, weeny bit of life. You've got to be careful sometimes when you click on there, it's a bit sensitive. It, it, it thinks that you want to change the name, so you just want to be careful you don't change the names of things. So, I mean, you just go through and add as much detail as you can it again you, you just want to just raise it enough um, lower it enough sorry because uh, you can see the boundary here I mean you can keep it like that if you want it might add a, a little bit but I, I don't know I just prefer to sort of sink it into the floor slightly <coughs> I mean, I just added a few raised um, pieces. Now you can add rubble as well. And the, th the great thing about clutter, especially about rubble, uh, the rubble itself is sometimes it's huge pieces of rocks and rubble, and of, and you don't want that to um, take over the room. So what you can do, you can sort of put it half in the room and half out the room. I'll see if um, we've got a big enough piece. What this do? No, I don't have any snow. Let's exit. Uh -huh. Snow, snow. Blah, blah, blah. Nor rubble piece one. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, here's a sort of an example. It's quite large. Now, if you want to change different vertices and uh, different angles and whatnot, if you press W, it will come up with this. You just click on what you want. It's a bit sensitive, so be careful. And let's just change it a little bit like that, right? And I'll just click on it again. And just have it like that. So, caps lock again. As you can see, it's poking through the top and the bottom. Uh, it's no real um, problem for us, obviously, because when we're, when we're in this dungeon, all we can see is what's inside. We can't see the void, as it's called. So there's n you don't need to worry about collision outside. <clears throat> so yeah you can add, add as much as you want or as little as you want it's entirely up to you as you can see here this Nor Nordic rubble pile is quite huge uh, when it comes to scaling if you click on the object you want to edit press down on S left click and hold and either drag forward drag forward um, to enlarge the object or drag back to decrease the size of the object one note if you make it too large you don't want to make it too large because the textures um, wasn't made to be overly sized so it will stretch and look a bit uh, naff to be honest so if you just get to a rough size you want let's just say put it like that so it's not too big too obstruct but it's big enough to look sort of convincing and then just, I mean, let's put it there. As you can see, um, as you'll see in the game, you'll see maybe a mound and about five, six different rocks and barrels and 